Alrighty, so we've got a new shipment of parts coming in. Uh, that's for the Lancer, that's for the Lancer, that's for the... Subaru? This is for the Lan... Uh, no. Lancer? Subaru. We should have a new part in one of these for the Subaru. A hey, cheers to Spares Box as well for supplying the goods. Oh, there we go. That's the one. That's the one we're looking for. New fuel pump. And this... Yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna spoil that surprise. Okay, so being a hatchback, we don't need to take our seats out because all we can do is just pop this stuff here. Uh, so a very interesting thing I've found is this random cord here that goes to nothing. Um, <laughs> I don't know if maybe we've had a trailer that used to be on the back of this thing and that was what was connected. But this is the bonus of having a hatchback. We don't need to worry about removing the seats for this process. All we got to do, fold the seat down, pull a little bit of interior out and there it is. I will probably give this all a vacuum as well before we uh, chuck everything back in. All right, so we'll start off, undo these four here. Don't really have anywhere to store these. We're just gonna chuck these there and try not to lose them. There we go. Oh wow, that is very, very dusty. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna run the vacuum over that. Alright, I'm using a vacuum there that we put like a little uh, soft brush head on there so we don't damage anything that's there. Alright, that's just so that we have a little less chance of uh, spilling some dust in there because that's probably not ideal to have dirt dropping into your fuel tank. Of course it's not a 10 mil. Why wouldn't it be a 10 mil? Man, we had to go fishing for that one. So it's a eight mil, eight mil for eight bolts. Makes life easy to remember next time you need to do it. Oh, we almost lost that into Never Never Land. Come back, come on. Don't, don't, don't you dare drop down that side. So we got our power. I don't think we need a screwdriver for that one. That should just pull straight out. Whatever this one is, that's our send line. Oh, there we go. All right, you just gotta be real gentle with it. Uh, yep, rag, because fuel is, uh, there's still a bit of pressure in there. That's dry, that's looking dry, cool, cool. All right, we'll pop these ones off first, see if that relieves any of the pressure. There we go, we're, we're slowly getting it off, there we go. All right, two off. Now, prepare for more petrol going everywhere. I think as long as we protect this one, we're gonna try to keep you up and out of the way. Yep, yep, fuel is everywhere. Confirmed. We we might we may as well just leave it. I just lost a clamp. So right, at least that's our <laughs> at least that's our return line. Uh, I will get another clamp for that one. I've probably got one sitting around in the shed somewhere. All right. Now the trick is tucking all of this stuff out of the way so that we can bring this whole assembly out. And that there was our fuel assembly. Okay, so that didn't want to pop off from the pump, so I'm hoping uh, we can pop it off this way instead. Please. Is 
So that pops on. Like that. And then we got like this little little clip here. I'm gonna try not to drop this and lose it somewhere. Alright, last bit before we drop this back in. We're gonna chuck our new fuel hose if this thing comes off. Man, we're gonna be pressed for room to try and get our little uh, little rubber bush in here. That's a bit of a squeeze. And there we have it, seated. We're just gonna hook up our power and then she can all go back in. We're not, we're not good. Our little rubber gasket thing has decided that it's little alignment things for the actual plate up here. Didn't want to go into uh, where they needed to go. It's amazing how something so small can turn something from a 20 minute job into like a 40 minute wrestle just to get things to go back into place. Alright, everything is connected again. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Uh, so our sender, return, breather, electronics. Tighten down all of these 8 mils. Tighten down all of these damn jets coming over right now. Uh, we'll tighten down all these 8 mils, and then we'll start the car up and make sure there's no like leaks or anything around here. Oh, don't lose that one down there as well. Fingers crossed it all starts. So we'll turn it on, we'll let the fuel pump prime. I'm hoping it primed. So uh, I guess if there wasn't fuel, it won't start. So we should. Please don't blow up. That wasn't great sounds. Let's try again. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, fuel hasn't gone everywhere, fuel hasn't gone anywhere, there's a slight little hum coming from there, so that means it's doing its thing, sweet, we can chuck all this back on, give this all a quick vacuum up after, and then take it for a uh, test drive, and see if it's fixed my little, uh, little running issue because it could have been a dead fuel pump uh, I was going to be replacing the fuel pump anyway so I figured why not it's something I can do that does not require a tune because your ECU is controlling the injectors on how much fuel actually goes into your cylinders so your fuel pump doesn't really uh, doesn't change your air fuel ratios 